are getting expelled from school in Roblox. Wait a moment, Justin, okay? Ah! Ah! But that's not all. We are also going to tell you a true life Lanky Box story about how we got expelled from school in real life. We are going to escape a creepy school and get expelled and then get expelled from school in real life. This is going to be an awesome Lanky Box video. Let's go. Whoa, today we're in school and we're in detention from Miss Annie Tron. Foxy, we gotta get out of here. What should we do? Oh no, we have to escape. What should we do? Maybe, maybe we can pull on the fire alarm? Good idea, Foxy. If we pull this alarm, which no one should ever do in real life, it'll set off the sprinklers. And yeah, it worked. It short-circuited Miss Annie Tron. Yeah. yeah, if you guys pull the fire alarm in real life, you could probably get expelled from school. And by the way, at the very end of this video, we will tell you a story of when Lanky Box actually got expelled. You did! I can't wait for them to hear all about it. Yeah, what's your favorite subject in school, Foxy? My favorite subject is lunch! <laughs> My favorite subject in school is lunchtime because I love eating, especially Lanky Box Kitchen, the best food ever. Foxy, run, Miss Annie Tron's chasing us. And yeah, everyone, make sure to stick around because we're going to get expelled in Roblox today and we're going to tell you a real-life story of how Lanky box got expelled from school foxy do you remember that story i remember justin that was the craziest day of my life oh and that thing adam did <laughs> <laughs> yeah i love that part too foxy but let's not spoil it because the whole story is coming at the end of this video let's keep going foxy why do you think we got in detention in roblox today maybe we got in detention because we were being way too sick and <laughs> Watch out, no! Foxy, are you okay? You fell into Miss Anitron's spike traps. No, I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm back. All I have to do is jump back to ya. This is so crazy, Foxy. Why do you think Miss Anitron set up her school to have all these spikes and these evil killing machines? Miss Annie really doesn't want anyone to skip class. I think she wants to make sure all her students are staying in school and learning. But Justin, look at us. This is a crazy way to do it. Yeah, you're right, Foxy. I never thought about that. Maybe maybe everyone was mean to Miss Anitron, so she wanted revenge on the students or something. Maybe it's actually kind of a sad story. Whoa, Foxy, let's play some basketball. I love playing basketball in school. I play against Adam, and I dunk on him every time. It's awesome. <laughs> and after this video, we're going to go dunk some Oreos. Yeah. Ah! Miss Anitron! We gotta go! Yeah, I bet Miss Anitron is super mean because she doesn't have any Lanky Box plushies. That's probably true. Foxy, where should everyone go to get Lanky Box plushies? LankyBoxShop.com! Foxy, jump down here quick into the sewers! Okay, here I am! Oh my goodness, it is Pennywise's red balloon. Don't chase that, Foxy. Okay, we're in the sewers. We gotta make it out of here. Foxy! We will get to the end. We'll escape getting expelled in Roblox. And we'll tell that crazy story about how Leggy Box got expelled in real life. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> okay, now what do we do here now? Whoa, we are super high up. We better be really careful because we don't want to fall down into that super deep pit. This is crazy. Thanks for waiting for me, Justin. I'll try going ahead then. Nice. Look at that. We're almost done with this part. That was way easier than I thought. Phew. So now we're climbing up a really tall ladder. I wonder where this will go. Beware the duck. Huh. Phew. Ah! Oh! Whoa. What is this? This is a really dark room, but it also feels huge. Look at how much we're running around. But I can barely see anything. Wait, what's that sound? I don't think we should be playing this, dude. Ah! Here, huh? Yeah, guys. I wonder what we'll learn about. Oh, I really want to make macaroni art. I love mac and cheese. Oh! I think I touched that scary painting and got oofed. Oh, I have to go start over again. But that's okay. Wait a moment, Justin. 
Justin, okay? Yeah! Oh. You touched a mannequin! You got it too, Justin? Yeah! That's okay, that's okay. We can do it this time. Oh, it says right there, avoid the mannequins. I get it. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. Okay, okay. Come on, let's do it together again. Okay. Um, hmm. Where do we go from here? There's mannequins every... Oh! Okay, okay, okay. Just sneak around the side of this desk. <laughs> <laughs> I got oofed by the mannequin again! <laughs> no, Justin, this is not funny! Okay, the third time's a charm. I can do it, I can do it. Just watch. And see? Nice. Thank you for waiting on me. Now let's go! Let's go! Whoa, this must be the photography room. Taking pictures is a lot of fun, but running in the rain is a lot more fun. Whoa, wait! Ah! Ah! You jumping on the ground and breaking the glass ceiling is really scary and loud! I really hope Miss Anitron didn't hear that. Because if she does, and she comes here, and she oofs us, we won't be able to tell you guys the crazy story of how Monkey Box got expelled. <laughs> but we will. Because we will get to the end, and we will tell you guys all about it. Let's go! Just keep watching and wait. Wait, what is that? It's a crazy giant robot cook trying to get us with their rolling pins. We have to escape the cafeteria. <gasps> uh, this used to be my favorite place. <laughs> oh, you're in the vents, Justin? I'll be there, I'll be there. We're in the vents and it's getting intense! <laughs> oh, what does that say? Swim? Okay, I love swimming. It's really fun. Ooh, we're gonna have to hold our breath for a really long time, it seems. Yeah! It's like we're going undercover on a secret spy mission. <laughs> do, 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 Oh, but we're going underwater on a crazy escape mission! Oh, speaking of underwater, you know who lives in a pineapple under the water? <laughs> SpongeBob! Oh, he's so fun! Oh, have you seen the Lanky Box and SpongeBob plushies? They are so nice and cuddly and look so cool! Just go on LankyBoxShop.com and you'll see them! <laughs> oh, where are we now? Get to the bus! Oh, does that mean we escaped? Hey, Justin, hey, Adam, it looks like we're almost there! <laughs> Look, it's Hopscotch! No, it's Miss Annie Tron! She scared me so bad, she got me just now! Oh my goodness, the duck from the dark sewers, too? Oh, you got this, Justin, you got this! Wait for me, I'm almost there! You're really good at playing tag! Wait, is that the crazy cook from the cafeteria? No, no I'm sorry, I don't want to eat rolling pins! I want pizza and donuts! Okay, Miss Annie and the sewer duck left, but the cafeteria cook is still chasing me! Hurry, Justin, come on! Let's get on the bus! <laughs> okay, the doors are open now. Let's get in before anything else happens! Ah! They're banging on the bus in the window so hard! Huh? But we escaped! We are finally getting... <laughs> Look at us! Look at how the bus is driving away! <laughs> <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> Miss Annie, the sewer duck, and the cafeteria cook were all gathered at the front of the bus. So when it started driving, it toppled over and we kept rolling like this. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Whoa! I could walk? Whoa. Guys, I'm not even in the bus! Whoa! Whoa, look at that! Wow! The bus is slowing down too. This must be our stop. Come on, let's go, let's go, see what this is! Wow! It's a party area! With a Justin statue and a Lanky Box flag? <laughs> that means we escaped and beat the tension! Let's go! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What is up, guys? Welcome to this episode of Lanky Box! Woo! Now, Justin, story I am going to tell you today is when I almost got expelled from school. <laughs> what? This story starts when I was in fifth grade. So when I was growing up, when I was from like a baby to like elementary school, my family had like a dog and a cat, just like normal pets, okay. right? Okay. Now, I went to my friend's house one day uh -huh. and he had a hamster. And he was like, do you want to like play with my hamster? I was like, what is a hamster? <laughs> I had never seen a hamster in real life. 
<laughs> he brought me over to his cage. He's like, you want to hold it? I was like, you can hold it? So I hold this hamster. It's like this blonde little cute hamster. It's so adorable. I immediately fell in love. Right when I got home, I was like, oh, mom, 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 please, please, please. Can I have a hamster? Why do you want to have, you already have a cat and a dog. When you were growing up, did you have cats and dogs? I did not have any pets. Okay, well. But if I did, <laughs> it wouldn't be a hamster. <laughs> what would it be? Maybe a pet donut. <laughs> I don't know. I was like, mom, can we please get a hamster? Uh -huh. And she was like, no. Hamsters smell bad. I don't want to take care of it. Our cat might eat it. There's true. no way true. I'm going to get you a hamster. Okay, that's true. So I was like, oh, I just got so sad. I actually showed my older sister some photos of this hamster uh -huh. and so me and her were like let's try and like convince oh. our mom to get us a hamster dude that's high iq because you convinced your sister to want it and then you guys teamed up exactly to convince your parents exactly and she was older and a lot smarter than me true so she actually had the idea she just got this like old laptop and she was like i have the program powerpoint on my laptop oh we can make a powerpoint presentation <laughs> like they do in school on like the benefits of owning a hamster and like how awesome they were. What are the benefits of owning a hamster? Happiness? No! <laughs> so me and my sister, we get to work on our laptop. I'm like finding photos. She's typing up all this facts about hamsters and like how happy we'd be. <laughs> it took us like a week. Me and my sister like sent my mom down. And we're like, we got we got something to show you. Uh -huh, this is gonna uh -huh. change your mind. Uh -huh. We load up the PowerPoint. Uh -huh. You know, we're going over our points. Hamsters are soft. They're cuddly. We try and show her videos of the hamsters to try and like yeah. trick her brain into loving them <laughs> and so we finished this like 30 minute presentation and she's just sitting there she's like i'm still not getting you a hamster <laughs> i was like what i basically almost well i did start crying because i really wanted that <laughs> but she was like you know what adam i know you want this hamster really bad i'm still not gonna get you a hamster but i was reading a magazine and i saw an ad for an ant farm. And if you guys don't know what an ant farm is, it's basically like this plastic container. It's like a thin <laughs> plastic container where you put like sand in and then you put ants. They like make tunnels in the sand and it's kind of like this like ecosystem of ants. Yeah. And so she was like, how about instead of a hamster, I get you an ant farm? <laughs> and I was like, Okay. Dude. What? Your mom is actually a genius. <laughs> you guys got completely bamboozled. That would be like if I was like, hey, Adam, I want some cake and some nuggets. And you said, let me meet you in the middle and get you some celery. And you guys were like, okay, cool. So I was in fifth grade. I didn't have a lot of friends. And these ants were so cool. I would watch them for hours just like making little tunnels on the sand. It was really cool. Flash forward a little bit. I go to school one day and I had a friend at the time named Lauren. Now this was in fifth grade and- Lauren, is that a girl? Yeah. She was my actual you, friend. You're telling me you made a PowerPoint about hamsters. You had a pet ant farm in your room and you also had a friend who was a girl. Yeah. <laughs> Are we playing two truths and a lie? <laughs> I actually had a close friend named Lauren. She was actually really cool. Now, to set this up, in my class in fifth grade, on Fridays, the teacher had this 30-minute period of time called free time. Oh, free where time. Where it was like, you could do whatever you want. Uh -huh. You could play computer games. You could hang out with friends. Everyone in the class like looked forward to like, oh, Friday at noon. That's free time for wow. 30 minutes. It's going to be the best. Normally, in our free time, me and Lauren would play Neopets or Club Penguin together. But I was telling her, I was like, hey, by the way, Lauren, I actually have this new pet at home. And she was like, wait, really? I was like, yeah, I could actually bring it to school. No, you didn't, man. You were an idiot. <laughs> it was Thursday night. I pack the ant farm in my backpack. Get to school. <laughs> They're still in my backpack. The teacher's like, okay, uh, I think it's around noon. Uh, you guys have free time for 30 minutes. I'm like, all right, here we go. Gonna bring out the ants. And I was yeah. sitting next to Lauren and I was like, hey, Lauren, do you want to see them? She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I open up my backpack. I reach down my hand and I feel sand on the bottom of my backpack. <laughs> oh, no. The ant farm had tipped upside down and all the sand and ants had fallen out in my backpack. I was like panicking. I was like, okay, what do I do? And I realized that there's ants all over the floor of where my backpack is because it had been like three hours since I brought them to school and I didn't notice them. So there's just ants everywhere on the floor. You're like, no! My own 
only friend. <laughs> so I start panicking. I couldn't hide it because Lauren was like, she already knew about the ant farm. So I'm like, Lauren, like, I dropped all these ants on the floor. Like, I need help. She was like, I don't know what to do. In my head, I thought that if the ants spread far enough, the entire school would become infested with ants and they would like reproduce and everyone would know it was me and I would get expelled. I was like, I need to get these ants off this floor before anyone finds out. So I had a genius idea. Uh -huh. In my lunchbox that day, because my mom packed my lunch, I actually had a banana. So I was like, wait a minute, ants love nah, sweet foods. Nah, 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 they nah, love nah, sugary nah, foods. Nah, 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 if I nah. cut a part of a banana off and put it on the ground and wait a little bit, all the ants will gather to the banana, and then I can just scoop them up and put them oh, back in the backpack. Dude, that's actually high IQ. Right? That's actually smart. Dude, yeah. I was panicking. Yeah. That was like the best idea I had. Yeah. So I was like real sneaky. There was like 10 minutes left of free time. I'm like cutting this banana. I put it on the ground next to me, just hoping that they all start crawling back to the banana. How far had they spread from the It was backpack? probably like a 10 foot radius around me. <laughs> they were like everywhere. And I was like just waiting there, just sitting and sweating. You're just sitting there and like, oh. <laughs> I wish I got that hamster. Oh. The teacher's like, all right, guys, uh, free time is over. We're going to move on to mathematics. How the classroom worked was there was like the front board, but the math section was over by my side of the classroom. So he was like, all right, everyone, let's gather around on this oh, side of the classroom. Oh, no. And we'll go over math. No. So all the kids come <laughs> over and sit on the floor. <laughs> and so I'm just sitting there. Praying Dude. that A, no one steps on my pet. I don't want them to die. <laughs> or B, that anyone finds out about them. So the teacher walks over to my side of the classroom. All the kids gather around. He starts being like, all right, let's do some math. Uh, seven times five, okay. And then one of the kids, it was like some girl in the class. And she was like, oh my gosh, I think there's ants all over the floor. And I was like, my cover is blown. Dude, my anxiety level right now is so so high. <laughs> and all the kids looked around because they were all in the section that the ants were. And they were like, oh my God, there's ants everywhere. Because there was literally hundreds on the floor. <laughs> and my plan had not worked. Adam in the corner trying to bury himself in the sand. <laughs> guy. He's like, I'm not here, guys. I thought that if they found it was me, I would actually get expelled. Up until this point, the only person that knew I had an ant farm was Lauren. I hadn't told anyone else. <laughs> Lauren about to sell you out. So the teacher was like, everyone, uh, let's stand up. Does anyone know where all these ants came from? Oh, no. And so I'm sitting there praying that no one looks at me. No one notices Please that I'm beat red and don't sweating. Don't tell me that Lauren sold you out. No. Now he's like, I'm going to ask again. Does anyone know where all these ants came from? <laughs> And I'm looking, I'm sitting there, I kind of like look over at Lauren. I was hoping that she was a real one, that she wouldn't snitch on me. The teacher asked one final time, he was like, does anyone know where these ants came from? And I'd never seen them this serious. And Lauren actually started to raise her hand. And she was like, I think I know where they came from. And Lauren kind of looked over at me a little bit. She's like, yeah, I think that someone accidentally left a banana on the floor and all the ants might have came in from the outside. And the teacher's like, really? And then he looked down and there was a bunch of ants surrounding the banana. And so I got off the hook because he's like, oh, it's just an accident. Someone just left a banana in here and somehow all these ants got in. She actually covered for me. <laughs> Your teacher was an idiot. <laughs> he didn't notice the sand. He didn't notice Adam McSweaty inside covered in sand. No, Lauren was the actual homie. I don't know how she came up with that so fast. But like she she came up with a story that actually made sense, but didn't like get me in trouble. And so basically what the teacher did was he picked up this banana, which had basically all the ants on it. And <laughs> Dude, he your put, plan actually worked. It actually worked. He took the banana and just tossed it in the garbage. He threw your friends in the garbage. Yeah. 30 minutes go by. <laughs> Math finishes, all the kids return back to their seats. And I like sneakily go over to the trash no, can no, and you take didn't. the bag out no, you and like didn't. rescue my friends. I like take the bag and shove it in my backpack and then like sneakily put all the ants back in their cage. Ew. Okay, let me let me rewind. A little YouTube rewind action. First off, you wanted a hamster. Yeah. Then you made a PowerPoint. Yeah. Then your mom bamboozled you into getting an ant farm. Yeah. Then you befriend a woman named Lauren. Yeah. Who covers for you. Yeah. 
Your teacher somehow believes that all these ants were attracted to one banane on the ground. <laughs> yeah. I only got one thing to say, Adam. <laughs> what? This would not have happened if you had a pet donut. <laughs> <laughs>